Hey kids, welcome to lesson eight, Boolean expressions and if statements, number four. You try it, text password checker. Key idea here, you can use the equal equal to compare strings as well as numbers. Let's use an if statement in the event handler to compare text that a user inputs in a UI element. We have some setup over here. Note that setup is in design mode. There are two images, a red lock and a green unlock. The green unlock is hidden at the start. Do this, add an if statement to the event handler to check the password and display the unlock only if the password is correct. You can use the equal equal to compare the text you get from the password input text box and a string you want to use as a password. The Boolean expression you should use should look like this. We have a get text and user input. I'm assuming that's the ID right there. And that is going to equal my secret, which looks like the password. If the user entered the correct password, then show the green unlock and hide the red lock. We've provided the code to hide and show the images. You just need to add the if statement. Wasn't well, that nice of them? Otherwise, do nothing. They can try again. Looks like we are just adding an if statement to double check and make sure whatever we put in is what the secret phrase is. So we're kind of making our first little security app here, which is super interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Over here, we have on event, the login button. I assume that's the login button right there is clicked. We have something happening. There is a show element and hide element. This is the red and the green lock. So it looks like one is to show and to hide. I think probably our if statement is going to go in there somewhere. Hmm, this is pretty easy what we have to do here. We have to add the get text password input. We have to get whatever the user is inputting here and checking it against my secret phrase. And on top of that, we really need to have an if statement. So we're pretty much saying if the user guesses it, you are going to show element, which is the green lock and hide element, the red lock. This will make it look like the lock is unlocking and locking again. Where do we need to put that? Well, that's going to go before our show and hide element. We're going to go to our controls and we're going to do an if statement right here. And if what? Well, if we get the text, so I'm going to get the text right there. And what ID is that? Well, if we go to our design, it is our password input. So let's just copy that, come up here, and our ID is going to be that what we just clicked right there, password input. And then on top of that, we want to set that equal to something. Well, what do we want to set it equal to? Well, we want that equal to whatever our phrase is. And let's just go with my secret, just like they have there. So our input should be password input, my secret. We can get rid of our curly cues right here. And all we need after this is a semicolon. Let's go ahead and test our program. Run, let's enter a phrase. First, let's enter the password, my secret. I should hit login and this should go to green. Hey, hard part though is entering something else. Roads, login. Now see, something didn't happen right there because it unlocked it. Well, what could it be? Hmm. Well, earlier, remember I got rid of my little curly cues here? Well, what those are doing is including in my operation. And by deleting those, I 
actually took away what the image should be doing. So if I add them back, this now is including into my if statement. So if the password input is my text, then this will happen. How I had it written the other way, it just pretty much ran all the way through. So these are included in my, in my if statement over here. Let's see if that hypothesis is correct. Reset run, do the easy one, my secret, login, green padlock, very good. Let's reset, run, try something else, should get a red lock, and we do. We learned a little something there that these little curly cues are very important. Just for the record, these are called braces and these are what's going inside. Please do not use my poor terminology to keep you from learning the correct one. So braces, we will try to use that better in the future. Well, we added our get text to our code here and our if statement. Looks like our code worked as intended. Let's see if code.org agrees. Looks like this is just a free play one. I am pretty happy. I think I understand the code. If you don't, keep on working with it. If not, let's move on to the next lesson. Good job, kids.